this this deep loving connection that these two men had for each other that was what uh, everything that led off came, came from that and that was why all the the roads and valleys and stuff that they go through is are so powerful we keep that honest we keep that intense we keep that with the layered complications of a real of a real loving relationship that was the leading thing was really mm. keeping it not just real to Michael's book, but real to two humans in love with each other. How can we make this as real uh, and authentic as possible? And not in the sense of, you know, Jim needs to walk like me or talk like me. It's just sort of authentic to like sort of the themes and the DNA of, of the story. It's not glossed over. It's not with a pretty bow on it. Oh, it's not. Is there a bow? <laughs> no, that's not what no. I was thinking. Here's my door. Before we go in, just open the door. Okay. What is this, Michael? Oh, you don't want to... Oh my God, they're in here too. Oh, Papa. Showalter is so good at walking this fine line. He's the director, walking this fine line between high comedy, because it's very funny in places, and tragedy. You know, Michael Showalter is a leader, and you don't quite know how he's doing it. But somehow, uh, the the... The scene is shaping itself, and he's very masterful about, I think you're over there, meaning go over there, because <laughs> he sees it in his mind's eye, but it's not fixed. My relationship with Kit, so much of its humor played such a big part of it, even the year he was sick. Me, me more so, probably the year he was sick, we relied on humor to get us through. Um, and I think I captured that in the book, and I think it's one of the things that drew Michael Showalter to the material, um, was the, the dark humor of it. Mm -hmm.